all of these things are little clues. A lot of that is a load of crap. You're about to waste hours of your life doing this. It brought me a step closer to where I am now. You and I are going to have a chat about all things career and picking a university degree. Pretend that I'm your career counselor, except one that actually is going to give you good advice. Everything I share today are things that I have learned along the way while having four gap years and trying to figure out where I'm going to take my life and what the heck I'm going to do at university. This is a little different from some of my other videos. There is more adventure and faith content coming, I promise. But hey, a career is an adventure, right? Just a different sort of adventure that we all take at some point in our lives. And I think sometimes we're ill-equipped to pick something that is actually right for us. Firstly, please avoid going to university until you are more certain of what you want to study. Now this may be controversial because I do also believe that going to university is really just being in a place where you're learning how to learn and you are growing while you're there, meeting new people, finding things that you like and dislike and all of these things are really good. However. All of those things you can do when you aren't at university through lots of other different ways. University is expensive and it is a huge decision to commit to a three, four, five year degree. Once again, I am definitely in favor of higher education, but if you are sitting on the fence about going to uni, you really don't think that the degree you're about to go into is something that you see yourself doing, then don't go. So what's the alternative? Well, I was in that position four years ago and I decided to take a gap year. I decided to travel and volunteer and work in lots of different places and talk to people about their experiences and their career regrets or their career highlights and just learn in other ways when you're in the real world. And this applies at all ages, whether you have just come out of school or whether you're older and wanting a career change. I know people of all different ages watch my channel. Thank you. And I think that regardless of where we're at in life, if we're in a bit of a limbo stage or we're not sure what to do moving forward, I think the best thing to do is step out of your comfort zone right where you're at. So one way that I did that was I became a teacher's aide because I considered going into education and I quickly realized that that actually wasn't for me. So at least I could eliminate one thing off my list. However, I did travel and I realized that I had a real passion for the tourism industry and the stories I heard along the way and the people that I met during that. I could honestly make a whole video on why I think you should have a gap year or if you're older and you're wanting to take a break and try something new, please, please do it. It will change everything for you. If I went and did the degree that I had signed up to at 18, I would be in a very different place right now. And I don't think it would have been the right place for me. I would also recommend looking into the Ikigai. The Ikigai is something I learned about from Lavendia and her YouTube channel quite a few years ago now. And it's basically a Japanese method or model of a way to find your Ikigai, which is kind of like your sweet spot. I will put in a diagram of it right here so you can have a read for yourself. But it really helped me think about the bigger picture and bringing all the different elements of my life into that sweet spot and finding what I should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Another good thing to do is to try a short course or diploma before you commit to a bigger degree. I did a diploma of business and tourism through the University of Tasmania in 2018 because I knew I wanted to study, but I didn't know what degree I wanted to do yet. So I picked tourism because I was passionate about it and it helped me form some really great connections. Although I didn't feel challenged, it brought me a step closer to where I am now. One of the ways it did that was during the year long course, I had a marketing subject and this confirmed to me that that's something I wanted to pursue on the long term. If you watch my starting university video, you can hear me talk a little bit more in detail about what I'm studying and what my dream career would be. So I'll link that down below. My next tip is a little bit unconventional, but I promise you're about to waste hours of your life doing this, but it's not a waste. It's actually a very good activity and that is 
is to look through job sites. Go onto any local job sites and search through all the different categories of all the different jobs and see what appeals to you. You can even set the different factors to what you would like to earn, where you would like to live, eliminate certain things you know you definitely don't want to do, and then see what the search results are. Read the job descriptions and you can see what those jobs involve on a day-to-day -day level and then you'll be like whoa I do not want to do that oh, oh that sounds really interesting I might look into it further this is something that I did a lot during my gap years when I was figuring it out and it really clarified what type of role that I wanted in the future my next tip is to pay attention to what you're paying attention to what do I mean by this is when you are scrolling on your phone, what do you stop to look at and read? What type of content and articles interest you? When you're having a conversation with someone, when do you spark up? When do you think, oh, what they said is really interesting, that fascinates me. All of these things are little clues as to what your passions are on the inside that you just haven't found yet. What makes you tick? What really turns you on in an intelligent way? It's also very important to seek wise counsel. So talk to your friends and family. Ask them, what do you think my strengths are? What can you see me being good at? What roles do you think would work for me? And this isn't a way to be like, oh, mum said I should do this, so I should do that. It's simply a way of getting an outsider perspective of what is really inside you. Because I think often we can be very critical of ourselves or just not recognize our own strengths, whereas the people around you can see it so clearly. Also, if you're a Christian, pray and read the word and again, see what makes you light up. See where you feel extra empathy. There might be an area of your life where you just feel for an individual on a different level to others. So for example, my lovely mother, she is passionate about aging. And when she sees an older adult, an elderly person, her empathy radar just lights up because she really connects with them. And that's something that God has put inside of her. And I think that God has put that inside of all of us, something that we feel extra compassion towards. I also love the saying that be who you needed when you were younger. Find out what did you need as a child that you didn't have. Was it maybe a counseling service or you wish you had someone that encouraged you with health and fitness? There's also more clues for your future career or the degree that you should study. I would also suggest looking at 80,000 hours. I think that's what it's called. Hang on a sec, let me check. Yes, so 80,000 hours is this organization that states if you want to make a difference in the world, there's certain careers that really need attention and that really need to be focused on and need more people working in them to make a real difference or find a way to earn money so that you can give more generously. Look at the overall lifestyle that you're wanting to achieve. Are you wanting to put a lot of value into your work and what you do as a job so you can help others? Or maybe you're wanting to create more wealth so that you can give more. And zooming out, and seeing what type of lifestyle you want is key because if you don't want to live in a city, then I wouldn't be going into a high level corporate job because chances are where you will need to be is in a big city. For example, for me personally, I want a degree where I can live in lots of different places and environments. So I'd love to live in a city with my future family one day, but I'd also love to live in a small beach town. So is the degree I'm picking right now aligning with that future desire of mine? And that's what you need to be evaluating before you step into a uni degree is, will this degree enable me to get to where I wanna go in 10 years time, in 20 years time? And that's how you're actually going to use your degree is by zooming out, getting some perspective and seeing if it's actually going to be helpful in the long run with what you want to do. And more importantly, the type of person that you want to be. Everybody has a different timeline and a different journey. And maybe after this process of discovery, you realize that university isn't for you. Or maybe you've completely 180'd and you want to do something completely different and everyone's judging you for it. Who cares? 
everyone has a different life, a different timeline. And I think that we feel like we leave school, we have to go to uni, we have to get this dream job straight away. And that doesn't really happen for many people. You need to take it at your own pace. I've done that over the past four years. I was told, go to uni, you've got the score for it, you need to do this and do that so you can get better and advance and be successful. And I've realized that a lot of that is a load of crap because I have learnt more, seen more, felt more than I ever could have if I just followed what the world told me I should have done rather than following the Holy Spirit in my heart nudging me towards different people and places. Once you have reached some type of a conclusion of the career that you would like to pursue, jump on into it. Go get experience, go start that degree, and I promise you that if it's not right for you, that there will be red lights that start popping up and you will soon find out that it is the wrong direction. If none of those clear red flashing roadblocks show up, then keep pursuing it. Keep going, work hard, enjoy the little things, and keep the bigger picture in mind. Which ultimately it will lead you to your purpose and help you find a way to use your own unique gifts and talents. I know this has been a bit of a rambly video, but I had a lot of thoughts to share. If you enjoyed what I had to say today and you found it helpful, make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to support my channel. Have an incredible day and I will see you next time here on my channel.